Welcome back. We're going to uh, complete this exercise with a finished design, and what we're going to get into now is testing your testing your animation, and then let's take a look at the code. So to get yourself started, if you haven't completed the uh, first part, open up the logo animate complete edge file that's in your complete folder. And when it opens, you can see that all the strips are in place, the animation is happening. And if you press the space bar, you're kind of going to see the uh, plus sign sort of bump everything into place. So there it goes, a bump, 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 geez, little heart, boom, down it goes, and and that comes into place. So that's done. This is uh, working the way we want it to work. Now what we're going to do is just go to File, Preview in Browser. It's Command or Control, Enter or Return, depending on which platform you use. And it's you know a similar command to what we use in Flash. So you just select that. Browser opens up. It opens, opens up, and there you go. And yeah, it's kind of doing what it's supposed to do. Now I'm a happy camper. I'm going to quit the browser. Okay, so I've got that done. And the next step in the process is really quite simple. What you do is File, Save As. You give the file a name, and what it will do is it will complete, well, it will basically build an HTML file for you with including includes, images, and all the uh, scripts and things that you'll need to get this thing going. So I'm just going to click Save. And it's going to replace what's already there. And if I come over to Dreamweaver and open up the HTML page, you'll see that there are a lot of files created here. There's the HTML, and you'll notice it uses a lot of jQuery and uh, JavaScript to get it going. And right at the top here are all the uh, scripts and so on that make this animation work including a CSS sheet. Now, here's the uh, fascinating thing about this. If you change any of the values in any of these uh, files, the JavaScript or the uh, CSS, you will actually get a message from Edge that these, the uh, code has changed and do you want to save the change? If not, it will just revert it back. And then what you can do from there if you are a uh, hardcore coder, you can uh, go into all of these files and you can use Dreamweaver, or you can use a text editor, whatever editor you want to use, and just basically make your changes there. So there you go. There's kind of the uh, process from soup to nuts. Started in Illustrator, blew out the files to SVG, JPEG, and uh, added the uh, gray background as the uh, stage color put everything into motion using eases and things like that, and then we previewed it. Well, actually, we tested it by hitting the space bar, then we previewed it in the browser, and then you can open up all the code that is inside the file and make your changes as necessary. And again, if you make a change to the code, Edge will notify you that a change has been made. Have some fun, and uh, I hope this uh, gets you going with Edge. Uh, there's a lot to be done on it, I agree, but I think it's a good first start. See you later.